I have something to show you. Oh. What are you doing? I tell you every day, I will never get tired of singing. From the first time I laid eyes on you, on the first day of class or junior year of high school, I knew that my life would change forever. I've had the honor and the privilege to see you grow from a young 16 year old girl to the mature and Christ loving woman that you are today. Your smile is contagious <laughs> and your laugh can brighten up anyone's mood. At least you always find my own. I love and respect the way you care for others and how passionate you are about serving those in need. You especially taught me the importance of service very early in our relationship. And I'm forever thankful for that. From volunteering together and spending hours getting to know each other to where we are today, I would not change a single thing. I love graduating high school with you and going to college together. I love our trips to Mexico and Guatemala and all the road trips across California. I love that we're both getting our masters and that we get to push each other to be better students and inspiring school counselors one day. I love taking on spontaneous adventures with you, but I also love when you just we just stay home and watch movies uh, or our favorite TV shows together. Every day is a beautiful adventure with you. For the past seven years, you've been my best friend, a partner in crime, and my biggest supporter. This Christmas tree is a resemblance of the many memories we have shared together over the past seven years. But as beautiful as it is, I don't think that this tree does full justice to the amount of life that you have brought into my life. <laughs> Laura, I love you and everything about you. You're everything and more than I could ever dream. One of the greatest gifts that God gives us is the gift of choice. We have made the choice to honor Him in our relationship, to put Him first and surrender our lives to Him. Ephesians 4.2 reads that whoever lives in love lives in God and in God in them. Loving you has been one of my greatest joys and I can't wait to spend eternity with you. It's been all joy to serve the Lord with you. In our pursuit to follow Jesus, we have grown in our relationship and have become obedient and faithful servants. You are my greatest and most precious gift and the one Jesus chose for me. You're beautiful inside and out, and once again, I will never stop reminding you of that. You're strong, empathetic, courageous, loving, and full of joy. You push me every day to be a better person, to believe in myself, and to trust that God has bigger and better things in store for me. I'm so thankful that God chose you to be a part of that story and to be together through this crazy journey called life. He brought us together when we needed each other the most. And this journey with you has been incredible. I've been waiting for a very long time to ask you this very important question. <laughs> Oh, my God.
Angel knows that. How about congratulations, <laughs> Angel? <laughs> Angel, Laura, we love you guys. We love you guys. Congratulations. congratulations. So how are you guys feeling? Good, excited. 
finally, <laughs> finally, so much planning, uh, weeks of planning, finally came to this, and yeah, it's still like Laura said earlier, it still, still feels surreal to to be here, with our families and friends. And, yeah, I'm still in shock. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. So Laura, did you have any idea what was going on, and like, when did you realize he was proposing? Well, this past week, we went, I went with his mom and his niece to get my nails done, and she was showing me, like, nails that were white or, like, sparkly, and so I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. I didn't expect it. I was like, no, he's not proposing right now. Um, and so I just went with the ones that I was looking at. But um, So that was my first little hint. And then... <laughs> And then these past few days, he was just like, "You're so beautiful," and like, I'll, like kept repeating it. And I was like, "I was like, okay, what's going on?" Like, like, thank you, but it's, <laughs> you know, it was, it was. I, I just sensed something was going on, um, and that he was kind of, he was a little bit nervous today as we were like driving here, and he kept checking his phone. And I was like, "What? I'm like, oh, stop no. that! Don't check your phone while you're driving." And, um, and that was it. And then when we got here, everything was pitch black. And I was just like, I think we came on the wrong day. Like, the place is closed. You need to check your email again. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to turn back, and I was trying to try to push, pull him back. But he's like, no, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so, and then the, the tree lit up, and that's when I knew with all the pictures. Angel, what was, what was it like putting together like such a big yet intimate proposal? Um, what was it like? Um, it was it's a big picture that came. Um, I had to share it with someone at first. Like, hey, I have this idea. Um, that was John. I remember texting him at one in the morning. It's like, hey, this is my plan. I'm gonna text you because otherwise I don't want to. I'll forget and I don't want to do that. So um, for months. I think it felt like two or three months, I think, of planning. Um, it came down to this one day. That's all we had to set up and everything. Um, and just having all you know, my friends and Diana, my niece, helped me set up earlier this morning. Um, it's just all the planning finally came to life. And it's just beautiful just to be here. And you know, surprise, Laura. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good. <laughs> So what's the most exciting part about getting um, to this moment together? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, well, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, uh, we've had seven year, over seven years of dating. Um, shoot, we've, uh, we've thought about our wedding. We've thought about you know where we want to live and everything. And um, Finally, we can, we can start officially planning. Uh, you know, we have big, big ideas of what we want to do. And, yeah, seven years. It's. Uh, <laughs> I think now it's people used to call, uh, ask us when when is you know, when are you getting married. Now it's when's the wedding and <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like every day someone asks us when are we getting married and so. Um, it was uh, God's timing. Yeah. Um, really trusting God's timing and um, uh, really allowing Him to to work in our lives and grow, uh, allowing Him to let us grow as a couple and just let Him guide our our future together so mm -hmm. it's a great it's a chapter of our book together yes. So, yes. so one last question what are you guys looking forward to most in this new season of life together so like the engagement process or even just beyond that just growing more and just going through the flow of everything and enjoying this time because it's a special time in our lives and um, just being with friends and family yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm excited for again what God has in store for us moving moving forward. Uh, it's been good. Um, yeah, I'm excited to you know live together. You no, know, of course, marry, marry her, live together, have a family of our own. Um, yeah, for us to become one. Uh, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It yeah. really is. We're excited. For you. Ooh. Oh Thank man! Awesome. <laughs> I know. I was like, That's right, no. Perfect timing. We got it done just in time. <laughs>